I love having a delicious matcha latte from almost any local cafe, Dunkin' or even Starbucks, but right now I really need to save my money. I was given some matcha powder a while ago and wondered if I could make it myself. Matcha is a suspension, so it won't fully dissolve in water. I don't have a bamboo whisk just yet, so I will need to find a different way to mix it. Come along with me as I try to make a delicious matcha latte at home. First, you'll need your matcha powder. Make sure the matcha powder is labeled as ceremonial grade matcha. Culinary grade is more suited for making desserts, baked goods, and smoothies. This is optional, but I'll be adding some ground ginger. To sweeten the latte, I'll be using honey. You can use any sweetener you'd like. I'll also be adding ashwagandha root powder. It's totally optional, but I think it's a great addition. You'll also need the milk of your choice. I'll be using an unflavored oat milk. I like to use oat milk instead when I order. Take one cup of milk and pour it into a small saucepan. I'll put it on a low heat to simmer as we continue to prepare our matcha mixture. It'll be warm enough once we're done mixing. I really don't like it when they charge extra for choosing a different kind of milk. Let me know if that grinds your gears too. Now to mix our suspension powder, I'll be using my trusty mini blender, also known as a magic bullet. You can use any mini blender that you have at home, like a magic bullet, neutral bullet, a blendini, a ninja, or even a Bella blender. Either one will do. Grab your blender cup and add the following. One teaspoon of matcha powder. You can add two teaspoons if you want a stronger matcha taste. As I mentioned before, it's best to use ceremonial grade matcha. For a latte, you can use a less expensive ceremonial grade. It'll be much less bitter than the culinary grade matcha and it'll need less sweetener. Ah, look at that nice light green color. And it's smooth like powdered sugar. This is optional, but you can also add half a teaspoon of ginger for a nice kick. Then add half a teaspoon of ashwagandha root powder. This is optional, but it's a great addition to your matcha latte, especially if you're drinking it before bed. I'm going to add a little bit of warm water to the cup, just so we have a liquid to mix it with. Lastly, add about one or two tablespoons of honey, brown sugar, or any sweetener of your choice. You can even use maple syrup if you wanted to. Now let's grab the base of our blender, plug it in. Attach the blender blade to the cup. I'm going to shake it up until the clumps of powder get unstuck from the bottom of the cup, as you can see here. It might be a good idea next time to add the water first, then add in your powders. And sweetener. Almost done here. Okay, we're ready to blend it. Go ahead and blend your mixture until it looks smooth and frothy. It won't take long.
looks like we're almost done. Now let's take a look. Our mixture is nice and green and it smells pretty good too. Grab a mug and pour your mixture in. Then you'll want to grab your small saucepan that you have on simmer and pour it into your mug. As you pour it in, give it a bit of height so that it mixes with the matcha mixture so that you don't have to stir it with a spoon. And there we have it, our matcha latte. It looks nice and green, frothy, and it smells really good. Alright, let's do our taste test and see how we did. Be careful, it's hot. Mm, that's pretty good. Voila! We've made our first yummy mug of homemade matcha latte. Go ahead and enjoy the fruits of your labor. If you added any other ingredients other than ginger or ashwagandha powder, leave a comment below and let me know how it went. Thanks for watching.